Alright, so I got a question once asking if I shaved my eyebrows because I didn't have any pencil on my eyebrows. For those of you wondering, these are my natural eyebrows. I did not shave my eyebrows. I don't know why. Someone would assume that because I don't have anything on them, they were shaved. But just so you guys know, I didn't shave my eyebrows. This is what they look like naturally. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not wearing makeup because I've been pretty sick lately. And honestly, I just can't be bothered. I've had a stomach virus. So, yeah, but I'm still going to film a video for you guys. Even though, yes, I am in my pyjamas. Anyway, I'm doing a video on my riding shirts. I have a lot of riding shirts and honestly, I wear a good three of them. <laughs> I think this is all of them. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I might be missing like one or two. I'm not showing you my show shirts. That's a whole other video of all my show shirts and stuff. So these are just my general riding ones. I'm just going to start off with some singlets. So some of these aren't like actual horsey brands, but yeah. So this one is a athletic singlet top. It's one of those really like thin breezy sweat material ones which I love for summer. So it's purple and has little lime green on the straps and I love it. I don't really know the brand of it but it's really simple and cute. So I'm just going to go whatever is like next. Here's another singlet. It is inside out. <laughs> And it is one I got from when I used to do cross-country running. So it's not one you can buy in stores, but it's on the back it says hooked on health. And the front it says I'm hooked. It's just plain red. It's similar kind of material, really thin, athletic one that I use in summer as well. The next one is from Horsewear Island. And it is a white, another kind of singlet top. It's got like the polo shirt, collar. Then it's got a horse embroidered onto it, if you can see. It's a little bit dirty, actually. I might put that in the wash. That is fairly dirty. <laughs> but yeah, I don't wear this one as much because it's a little bit see-through, but sometimes I wear it when I'm showing if it's just a casual show and you don't need any fancy clothes up. I missed. So every time I'm on a video when I throw something in my washing basket, I always miss. Okay, next thing is my pink polo, which again, I never wear. And it is the Dublin brand. It is really nice though, like, it's so nice. It's really, really thin. The back is all this aerated material, if you can see that, which you really can't, kind of, I don't know. But it's got button-ups here, which are cute. And it's really, really thin, perfect for summer. It's really stretchy material, which I love. However, I don't really wear pink much, so it doesn't really get used very often. <laughs> the next one is my favorite polo shirt ever, and I really want to get more. It is my Mac and Mall Trading polo shirt, which I've gotten a lot of questions on and if you guys can buy these, you can't, unfortunately. At the moment, they are just for sponsors, but they might be coming out in the future. So this is what it looks like. It is black with yellow piping. It has the Mac and Mall logo on the left breast. And then on the back, it says Mac and Mall Trading, show your horse in pride. And it has a little Facebook button because if you guys want to contact them, by the way, they are having some problems with their Instagram account. They haven't been able to reply to comments for some reason. I'm not sure why. We can't really figure it out. But if you guys have Facebook or if your parents have Facebook, contact them on their Facebook page, which is Mac and Mall Trading, and they will reply to you. So yeah, it's really cool thin polo, which I love to wear because I just love the thin polos. However, this one isn't ridiculously thin. So it's perfect for like all seasons. My next one is actually not like a roller, um, a riding shirt, but it's a polo shirt. And it is from when I went to regionals for athletics. And it is um, <coughs> Little Athletics New South Wales Region 4 Championships Wollongong. No guys, I don't live in Wollongong. That's just where the championships were. So to avoid you having to ask that question, I do not live in Wollongong. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It's really nice. However, I don't wear it as much riding because it is a bit longer and I like my shorter polo shirts. And that's what it looks like on the back. South Coast Highlands 2014. Wow, this was ages ago. <laughs> I didn't think it was that long ago. My next one is from the brand Finicky. And it is like an apricot orangey kind of colour. And I really like this one because it's really simple. So it's just got like the black and white lining along the little pocket, the sleeves and the v-neck, which I think is really cute. Um, 
it's a nice length as well so it's easily tucked into my polo shirt my next one is another athletics one so this one isn't as much as a polo shirt but it's a long sleeve and it says Sydney North School Sport Association then Sydney North on the back so it's like a jersey type thing but it's really nice so that's what that looks like I won't get too in depth with that one I don't really wear that one very often. Next one, oh, it's another singlet. <laughs> Next one is a Bing Tang singlet shirt. So it's just violet and white with the Bing Tang logo on the front and back. My friend got that from Bali for me. This is what I normally wear over some of my polo shirts. So it is an Iron Williams three quarter sleeve shirt. So it's blue, white, and red. It has a little Iron Williams logo there, the longhorn. The back is just plain. It is really nice and loose, so it's comfortable to wear over my polo shirts, and I even sometimes triple layer it, so with another jumper over the top. But that's something I really like wearing. It's nice colours. Now, the next one I'll get into is one my auntie got for me when she went on a cruise. Here it is. It is really nice. It is orange and white. The brand is Custom Fit. Yep. Yep. That's what it looks like, and it's got a really nice polo kind of logo there. Miami on this side, and then on the back, it has a number three. Okay, so I have a few more left now. Um, I'm going to start with this one because this is one of my favourite polo shirts, and I've had for years, and it still fits me, and I'm in love with it. <laughs> I've had this one since I started my YouTube channel, actually, but it is my Sydney polo shirt, and it's the brand Giddy Up. So it says Sydney Polo Club on the front and it has a really nice white and red stripe down it with a pretty little logo there, a little polo player there. In the back it has number one and it's a really nice shade of light baby blue which I absolutely love and it is one of the ones I wear most. <laughs> now I have two more left and this one is a Thomas Cook one. Here it is. So it's navy and again like an apricot salmon-y kind of colour. So that's what it looks like. It is pretty worn out because I wear it quite a lot. And on the back it has the little Thomas Cook logo and some more apricot stripes. And then they also have the Thomas Cook logo on the front. That's that one. And my last one is probably the one I wear most in winter and the colder seasons. And it is my Ralph Lauren three quarter sleeve black polo shirt. And it's just plain black. It's really simple. It's really comfortable. And I really like the look of it. So it's got a little blue polo player on the corner. And the back is just plain. But it's really simple and really cute. So I really like that one. It's probably one of my favourites as well as the other blue one which I showed you before. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, a lot of you guys wanted to see my riding shirts. I know a lot of you guys want to see my saddle pads and also my jodhpurs slash breeches but the saddle pads is the most requested and I haven't done that just because they're very dirty and I did want to clean them first but I think I'm just gonna have to suck it up and show you my dirty saddle pads. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow for my vlog. Bye!